So here we are with uh, Chris O'Brien once again in Colne in the Municipal Hall after Karen Farrell's uh, after stopping uh, Daniel Torp. Listen, this is the uh, the venue of your last fight uh, back in May. Um, tell us uh, about that fight. Yeah, it was uh, against Ben Lawler, six threes. Very good fight. I felt it was coming into my own there. Uh, boxed very well for the first for the first three rounds, and I got a big uh, big lump, big bubble over my eye on my left eye. It slowed me down a little bit, but boxed confidently and boxed well. Yeah. And uh, you haven't been in the ring since then. Well, what's what's been going on with you? I've uh, I've broke my left hand. It's absolutely cutting for me because we're supposed to be going over there and I'm boxing some clown over in Ireland. But uh, unfortunately for me, I broke my thumb. What a freak accident is happening in boxing. is contact business and uh, these things happen. Yeah. So how's the hand now? Oh, it's come to you now. I've just got me put off, and uh, I'm looking to get over there and uh, box uh, box either hockey. For the, uh, the Irish title, but the thing is, he's, he's being very, very selfish and not boxing anybody for it. Whether he's, he's scared or whatever, he just wants to go around and call himself the Irish champion without actually fighting anybody Irish for it. Which I find disgusting. He, he got beat there in the Kelly title. I've been screaming for him for a year, and all he's been doing is ducking me. Why duck me? Do you know what I mean? On paper, it, that should be an easy target for him. So why duck me? Listen, I'll go over there and show him that I'm in business. How would I smash him around that ring? But the thing is, He's not willing to give me the shot, and not, not, not just me, he's not willing to give anybody, any other Irish lad a shot. And I think I should go over and take that. But there's also this clown who's a bit of a skateboarder or something like that, and he's been sparring some, some amateur, and he likes a big head guard and all the rest of it. He'll leave the head guard when I go and punch him round that ring. Listen, I love to smash. Pose as a boxer, skateboarder, boxer, that doesn't go. Listen, if he wants to be a boxer, find me for it. Do you know what I mean? Fight me, the winner of that, fight shocking, whatever. Or that uh, Willie Thompson, I'll go box him. I'm not bothered. For free. So listen, you're, you're, you're trying to get, you've got maybe a potential couple of uh, bouts coming up in Ireland. Are you looking to get on any of those bills? Yeah, there, there's a fight coming up on the, uh, the 11th of December, I think. And uh, I said, listen, I said, I'll go over there, I'll get my own flights, I'll box for free. And I'll box that clown of a skateboarder over there. He wants to go down and call himself, I'm a professional boxer. You know what I mean, are we? I'll show me you're a professional boxer. I'll fight another fellow professional boxer, which should be a good match up, do you know what I mean? And afterwards, we can go skateboarding together. <laughs> <laughs>